So I'm in Korea for my first ever Korean super seminar and Chan Sung Jung, the Korean zombie himself, shows up for the guillotine mastery seminar. Had a great seminar session, here we are. Rolling after the seminar. This guy tried to sneak attack me right there in the beginning. Funny guy. Uh, super nice guy, couldn't be a cooler guy. And uh, didn't speak that much English, but we spoke jujitsu and uh, couldn't have connected in a more real way. And uh, we went for a playful role after the seminar here. So he gets my back. He puts both hooks in, he goes for the twister. The twister. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him, I know the twister. Um, so here he is, attacking my neck a little bit. I sit up, there's the parachute. You guys, look, this is one of my most frustrating escapes I ever use on people, look. So I kill the hands, I throw my body forward, and I grab both of your feet from the outside. Absolute frustration, nation. I would tell you how to counter it, but no one's ever done it to me, so I don't even know how to counter it, but I do it to everyone. Doesn't matter what belt, I catch him in the parachute escape from the back mount. Now watch what happens. Because he can't pull me back, every time he pulls me, it pulls his feet out. Look, he tries to get up, look. Tries to sit up, tries to pull. He feels it, his feet will get pulled out if he pulls harder. So watch what he does. He aborts the mission, he just lets it go. Boom. And that's what most people do, they get so frustrated, they just kind of back up and let it go. So here we end up in the open guard, a kind of a standing butterfly there. He had great base, man, just a really smart, really just tough, good grappler, man. It's like, the hype is real with this guy. And uh, just messing around a little bit here with some different grips, butterfly guard, checking his balance. He stands up, does a good job just engaging. So here I kind of go for a single leg, he gets up, pulls away, goes for a little modified guillotine right there. I sit back down, he loses control of the head. And here he is kind of in a half guard, more of an open half guard. He has me in three quarter guard, my foot's tucked him tight his legs here. I start messing with his arm a little bit, he postures right out of it to avoid the kimura. And then I go for a little triangle, same side wrist grab, he defends pretty well. Watch the handoff. Boom, there it is. So what happens here is look, I, I try the standard triangle, but he defends, so I switch off the wrist. Look at this cross grip killer right here. So I hand off the cross grip, then I go back to the head with the same side hand. Nobody expects that to be a triangle grip. Everyone expects the same side grip. I do the cross grip, hip out, push the hand, jump the leg, look. Same exact thing, I just switched my hands on his wrist and that totally threw him off guard there. And we landed in the full triangle lockup. I've been doing that a lot lately. Cross grip from the triangle setup. He goes here, side mount start up. And now he goes around, works from the knee on belly, goes around north south a little bit, starts attacking the arms pretty well. Looking to scoop that outside elbow. He's looking to scoop my other elbow. My elbows are so heavy on the mat though. Normally people try to get up and get out of here and that's when they get caught. Don't try to get out, you guys until he gives the window. See, by me laying chill, he got comfortable, and that's when I got the window for the escape. Back to open guard. Ooh, the levitator guillotine almost landed. I jump up in the levitator, but he pulled, did a great job pulling away. So I sit in that cross-legged position, I levitate straight up, but he perfectly defended it. Drops back in here, into kind of this butterfly guard. What do you got here? Yeah, there you go, try the triangle. The next, I tried the cross grip killer again, and he defended it perfectly. So as I pushed it, he ducked his head out. So it's one of those ones that you get caught once, fool me once, but you know, Shame on, what is it, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, something like that. Or the other way around. Either way, defended perfectly the second time, here he went for a little 1.5, his hands are locked together and he does a great job of just really fighting that triangle entry. He almost lost his balance there as he sat back and went for the triangle in the transition, he came back on the guard. So he's just really smart in, tran in transition, he's very aware of the submissions. Here he kind of pulls away, pulls away, he's defending really well, sits back, boom. But he's, here he starts to pass. Almost got a little omoplata set up there. He does a good job keeping good posture so there's no shoulder pin. I kick him away, he's off balance, so I just push his belly, he loses his balance. And then right when I land, he goes for deep half right there. But look what I do, I cross my feet and I sit back. So he went right for deep half. Look, watch his right hand go under. I cross my feet here and I push my butt back and down while my left arm is deep cross face, keeping him from sitting under, getting under my hips. That cross face with my left hand is what's messing him up, the left arm behind his neck. He does get double underhooks here. And now look at the shoulder pressure on his face. The left shoulder and his jaw makes him look away, which makes it hard to turn back in for the deep half. And then I pin his knee, slide over, and go straight to mount. <laughs> so from here, he does a good elbow escape on my back foot, but I dismount to the same side as the elbow escape to prevent that from you know, turning into anything. And then from here, stop in Chicago, shoot all the way through. Belt messing everything up. So from here, wrist control, head control, step on the bicep, watch the head bicep, on the head, fit on the bicep, switch hands on the head and then shoot the leg straight through. And I just chose to fall off to the side for the easier lockup, but I didn't know my belt would be working against me. I'm gonna have a talk with him. And there it is. Amazing guy, you know, couldn't be happier to have rolled with him.
and uh, have met him. Really nice guy. The Korean people in general, I couldn't have been happier. Keep up the good work, you guys. What's up, you guys? Henry Gracie here in South Korea with my man Jason Park, checking out the new location for the CTC. He opened up the first Korean certified training center two and a half years ago. Things are blowing up in South Korea, so he's moving it to a new location. And you guys already know where the location is. Don't act like you don't know, because you know the song Gangnam Style. And we're right here. This is central. This is like the Beverly Hills of South Korea. This is like the New York Times of South Korea. Times Square, couldn't get more central. Check out the amazing building to your right, all the way up. Beautiful, brand new glass building, central, Gangnam, South Korea. You come down, there's a glass elevator right here. Come with me, quick. Be careful, don't cry, be good, okay. This will be the main entrance right here. So you're gonna have this elevator right here where you can go straight down. But for now, construction is still underway, so I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. Check it out. We're coming downstairs right here. This beautiful glass elevator will be how you normally get down to the basement floor, which is where the academy is at. Watch out for the rope right here. Welcome to CTC Gangnam. Dude, we gotta have a song, like variation, Jiu Jitsu variation. So check this out, that's where the elevator will drop you right off. You'll come straight down, you'll have straight access over here, men's locker room slash changing facility, right? And then you open it here, over 2,000 square feet, back up so you can see the whole thing. Training pad, wrestling, private room over here, come this way. When it's locker room over here in this corner, boom, and then over here, Amazing space. Bathrooms over here. Look at this beautiful. More elevators. The rest of this big, amazing building. Then you come in this way. And look at this. We got restrooms. Hello. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, the slide. <laughs> yes. We'll edit that part out. Okay. We'll edit that part out. Um, so then you come over here, and you got the hello. Women's locker room, or not locker room, this is just an actual like a bathroom, right? So locker rooms will be in there, but just actual beautiful, brand new, the, literally, the building is literally brand new. Gangnam style. Over here, men's, the whole situation is going down. It's very simple, you guys. Very rarely do I give the full virtual tour before the CTC opens up, but it couldn't be more proud to come in here and show you guys our new home in South Korea. Man, I can't wait to come back to a seminar in here, have some jiu-jitsu collaboration, show you guys some techniques. I would show you a technique right now, but I don't want to get my pants dirty. But this is worth going to go down, you guys. Beautiful green mats, wall-to-wall, -wall, lockers, restrooms, Gangnam Central. Train station is right here, am I right? The train station, the main Gangnam drop for the subway station is right here. You don't even need a car. You don't need to worry about parking. You literally have to get on the train, get off, come here, down one elevator, and you're ready for class. Get up, subway, out of here, and you're good to go. And when you get home, gracieuniversity.com until the next class. And if you're not in South Korea, if you're ever here, come train, do a class. My man Jason will hook you up for free. If you're not in South Korea, find a certified training center at Gracie University and they'll take care of you just like my man Jason will here in Gangnam, South Korea. Much respect.